Welcome to the Spirit Spot. My name is Raina Shea Broussard, and it is my hope to help guide you into your Spirit Spot, even if just for a few moments out of your day. I invite you to set aside whatever you may have in front of you and settle into your seat if you're able. We'll start with three conscious breaths. Breathe in through your nose, slowly, evenly, deeply, filling your belly, and breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Today I have a story for you that comes from the Muslim tradition. There are different accounts of this story of what occurred during Muhammad's night journey and ascension but most narratives have the same elements. One night in the city of Mecca, Saudi Arabia, when the prophet Muhammad is in a deep sleep, the angel Gabriel awakens him and takes him on a winged horse on a night journey. Muhammad ascends into heaven with the angel Gabriel and meets a different prophet at each of the seven levels of heaven. First Adam, then John the Baptist and Jesus, then Joseph, then Idris, then Aaron, then Moses, and lastly Abraham. While on his journey he sees the angels praying, he meets the prophets, he sees paradise and hell. And finally Gabriel takes Muhammad to the highest heaven. I can go no further or my wings will burn, Gabriel says. You go on ahead. Muhammad proceeds and finds himself in the presence of God the Almighty. God does not reveal himself to him, but they have a conversation. This night journey and meeting with God is referred to as Isra Mirage. God tells Muhammad that he and his followers should pray 50 times a day. After the conversation is over and Muhammad returns, he meets Moses again on the way down. How did it go? Moses asks. Muhammad tells him about the 50 prayers. Ah, oh, they will never be able to pray 50 times a day. Go back and request God to reduce the number, Moses says. The prophet Muhammad goes back. God reduces the number to 40. On his way back, he runs into Moses again. What did God say? He asks. Muhammad says, 40 prayers a day. Oh, go back. Your people won't be able to comply. Mine couldn't. Yours won't. So prophet Muhammad goes back up to talk to God. God reduces the number to 30. Moses sends him back again. Muhammad goes back up to talk to God several times as the number of prayers a day is reduced from 30 to 20 and then to 10 until God says that five prayers a day is his final number. What did God say? Prophet Moses asks. Five prayers a day. Again, Moses says, go back. Even five will be too much. And Prophet Muhammad says, I cannot go back. God said that this was his final number. I'm also too embarrassed to go back again. And this is the origin story of why Muslims pray five times a day. Our touchstone for today is unceasing. I first heard this story when I was a teenager. 
one of my longest and closest friends happens to be Muslim, and she told me this story. And it always stuck with me as a very powerful one. My understanding of this story is that the point of God telling Muhammad to tell the people to pray 50 times a day is that we should pray unceasingly throughout our day. The story is a, a funny one and, and suggests that God can be negotiated down to five prayers a day instead of 50, and it offers an adequate explanation for why Muslims stop throughout their day to pray to God five specific times. But I like the idea that God is simply saying that he, she wants to be close to us throughout our lives, throughout our day, and wants us to come to him in communion frequently. And so in keeping with this idea, I invite you to pause throughout your day for three conscious breaths and to reflect on ways in which you can stay in communion with the sacred throughout your day. And may you create a wonderful day.